Do you know that a 3 by 3 by 3 Rubik's cube has more than 856,000, more than 489 million, more than 274 billion, more than 3 trillion? Actually, it has 43 pentillion, 252 quintillion, 3 trillion, 274 billion, 489 million, 856,000 combinations. You are watching Brain Exploders, the world where brain starts working. In this video, we will show how to calculate the total number of combinations for a 3 by 3 by 3 Rubik's cube. We will start from beginning. So for a beginner, there are 6 faces, each having 9 pieces on them. But actually, there are only 26 pieces in which centers of each face are fixed. Focus on this corner piece. Here it has three colors, yellow, blue and red. And if you rotate it in any way, any layer of this cube, then you will get to know that these will never get detached. Hence these are not three pieces, actually it is only one piece. And similarly in all pieces they are either two or one color. If you disassemble a Rubik's cube then also you will get to know that there are 20 movable and 6 fixed pieces. And from this data it is clear that corner piece can be interchanged with a corner only and edge piece can be interchanged with an edge only. A edge piece cannot be interchanged with a corner and a corner piece cannot be interchanged with an edge. This was a clear information for a beginner. But if you start solving the Rubik's cube, then you will get to know that there are some restrictions which you cannot perform on the Rubik's cube. Those three restrictions are discussed here. It is impossible to twist a corner alone. If you twist a corner clockwise, then there is at least one more corner twist in anti-clockwise direction. See this picture. This cube in this picture is either disassembled and reassembled or its diagonally opposite corner is also twisted. This picture is impossible to form if another piece is not twisted. Second restriction is that it is impossible to twist an edge alone. If you twist an edge, then there is at least one more edge twist. This is the example of this restriction. Here you can see that two pieces are twisted here and according to this restriction either both of two get twisted or none of these get twisted. Third restriction is that interchange of exactly two pieces is impossible while solving out of 20 pieces you have to set 18 pieces to their correct position rest two are auto settled. Suppose this is one of the layers of Rubik's cube and all other layers are settled. Name all them with A, B, C, D, etc. Now suppose you try to perform certain moves and you try to bring A to C and C to A. You try A to C, C to H and H to A and the third try A to C, C to A, B to E and E to B. In these tries, the first one is impossible and the second two are possible because in A to C and C to A only two pieces are interchanged but in A to C, C to H and H to A here three pieces are interchanging in a cycle. So these are the restrictions. Now start counting the number of combinations. If there is no restriction then 8 corner pieces can be arranged in 8 factorial ways and each piece may have 3 orientations. Therefore, if there is no restriction, then total arrangement for corner pieces is 8 factorial times 3 to the power 8. Similarly, 12 edge pieces can be arranged in 12 factorial ways and each piece may have 2 orientations. Therefore, if there is no restriction, then total number of arrangement for edge piece is 12 factorial times 2 to the power 12. 
but due to restrictions we get that exactly one corner has no independent orientation it depends on another seven corners therefore we should divide this number with 3 exactly one edge has no independent ori orientation it depends on twists of another 11 edge pieces therefore we should divide above number by 2 because total combinations must be half due to this restriction and similarly for third instead of last one piece last two pieces get auto settled and therefore we should divide above number by 2 now the number of legal combinations is equal to 8 factorial times 2 to the power 12 times 12 factorial times 3 to the power 8 over 2 times 2 times 3 which is equal to 8 factorial times 3 to the power 7 times 12 factorial times 2 to the power 10 and here we get our number even after such a wide range of combinations it can be solved in maximum 20 moves no matter how much scrambled it is 20 is the god's number for the rubik's cube however this is a fairly recent discovery of july 2010 so these were certain facts about rubik's cube don't forget to like and share our video and for more such videos subscribe to our channel brain exploders thanks for watching